History is filled with tales of lost cities, ghost towns, and abandoned villages. It's the way of things to be born, to grow, and then die. And it's no different for once bustling metropolises to eventually become shadows of their former glory as ruins. Take a trip down memory lane to places that now only appear in the annals of history with the top 10 biggest cities that no longer exist. Ur. Especially for early time periods, it's difficult to get a consensus on exact numbers. But based on the best evidence found in archaeological digs as of the time of this recording, the city of Ur, located in the southwest of present-day Iraq, was probably the first to reach the 100,000 mark in terms of population, having done so around 2100 years before the Common Era, or BCE. Ur is possibly the same place as ur Kasdem, a city mentioned in the Old Testament as the birthplace of Abraham, and a place called Ur is referenced in the book of Genesis four times. During its heyday, the Sumerian city-state had an ideal location, nestled on the Persian Gulf at the mouth of the Euphrates River. Over time, however, that changed drastically. Research suggests that the Persian Gulf's water level was two and a half meters higher during Ur's prime than it is today, and eventually Ur became an inland city. As a result, the population began to decline, and about 100 years later, the city of Memphis in Egypt replaced it as the world's biggest, with a population barely peaking around 60,000. But for a brief shining moment, Ur was really the world's first city. Today it is ruins, with the most popular tourist destination being the Ziggurat of Ur, which was unearthed in the 1920s and 30s and is an important site for studying early Sumerian religion and culture. Avaris by 1600 BCE, the city of Avaris had taken the top spot and was the first city in nearly 500 years to finally reach the 100,000 people marker once more. Avaris was a capital for the Hyksos people, who had emigrated from their ancestral home near present-day Israel, Lebanon, and Syria to settle in the Nile Delta of present-day Egypt over the years prior. There they founded many villages and towns, and the biggest among them was the city of Avaris, a bustling port town designed to have an arm of the Nile cut right through its center. Excavations and radar technology suggest that the harbor of Avaris could hold up to 300 ships during trading season. The native Egyptians hated the Hyksos, and only 15 years later, King Amos, the first king of the 18th Egyptian dynasty, waged war against them and drove the Hyksos people out of Egypt. As a result, Avaris's brief reign as the world's biggest city ended as quickly as it began, and Avaris was left empty. Gingsu Something important happens around 1300 BCE, which is that the world starts to get a little bit bigger. No longer would the title of the world's biggest city be the sole domain of the Middle East. By the year 1300 BCE, Yingsu in the Henan province of present-day China reached a population of 120,000 people, which marked the beginning of the time where the Chinese population overall started overtaking the rest of the world. By comparison, Thebes in Egypt was still hovering around the 80,000 mark by the time Yingsu hit its peak. Thanks to Yingsu being the original source of the archaeological discovery of oracle bones and oracle bone script, which resulted in the identification of the earliest known Chinese writing. It's quite well documented that the ruins of Yingsu represent the ancient city of Yin, the last capital of China's Shang dynasty which existed through eight generations, 12 kings, and 255 years. It was rediscovered in 1899. Paramesis. Egypt would take the title of hosting the world's biggest city one last time in 1200 BCE, as the Egyptian Empire reached the pinnacle of what it would achieve. During the reign of Ramses II, often recognized as the greatest and most influential of the Egyptian pharaohs, the capital city of the Delta region was moved to Paramesis, very near where Avaris once stood. As a result, Paramesis grew to 160,000 people at its height, 
Ramses II, also known as Ramses the Great, or by his Greek name Ozymandias, lived to the ripe old age of 90, and once he passed on, he was buried in the Valley of the Kings. His namesake city, Paramesis, remained a major population center for a time, but over the next 100 years, it declined thanks to the capital being moved back to Thebes. Paramesis was rediscovered in 1884, and ever since has been the subject of countless archaeological and historical missions. Haojing Haojing, also known as Yangzhou, was the next in line to be the world's biggest city. Situated on the east bank of the Fang River across from its sister city Fangjing, at its peak around 900 BCE, under the leadership of King Wu, the first king of the Zhu dynasty, Haojing boasted a population of 125,000 inhabitants. After King Wu's death, the city of Luyi, now called Luyang, was built a bit to the east, which quickly outgrew the capital. Sometime between 781 and 771 BCE, Haojing was overrun by forces controlled by the Marquis of Shen, and all of its royal buildings were razed to the ground. Soon after, the capital was moved to Shangzhou. Today, the remains of Haojing exist within the boundaries of the modern-day city of Xi'an, the capital of Shangxi province in central China. Tikal Excavations and surveying in the New World has been less than successful at determining the exact size of many of the Western Hemisphere's ancient cities. But certainly Tikal would fit the bill as one of the biggest that fell into ruin. The ancient city whose ruins reside in present-day Guatemala was once the capital for one of the tribes of the Maya civilization and at its peak, probably held around 90,000 full-time residents, plus serving as a hub for the surrounding population for miles. Tikal features spectacular temples, carvings, palaces, and monuments. Founded sometime around the 4th century BCE, Tikal would last for another 900 years, according to archaeologists. Sometime in the 200s, however, scientists say no new palaces were being built, and many of the other buildings were burned, suggesting that the city fell victim to war, like so many ancient cities before it. The city was eventually abandoned entirely by the 10th century. Babylon no list of the biggest cities that no longer exist would be complete without the most famous city of ancient Mesopotamia, Babylon. According to archaeologists, Babylon probably held the title for world's biggest city twice in its long history, once in the 1700s and 1600s BCE, and then again a thousand years later starting around 600 BCE, and retaining the title for nearly 200 years while it was a part of the Neo-Babylonian Empire. It is one of the first two, if not the first, to reach 200,000 people in population, though whether Lu Yi beat it there is up for debate. Bisected by the Euphrates River in the Fertile Crescent, Babylon was a key kingdom in the region for a millennia and is also famous for being the home of the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The city is still alive in the imaginations of present-day history buffs, sci-fi fans, and film buffs alike, not to mention the biblical references to the Tower of Babel, the famous tale of how the world's many languages came to be. The remains of Babylon are about 60 miles southeast of present-day Baghdad in Iraq, ruins that cover nearly 3.5 square miles. Surprisingly, it took until July 5, 2019 for Babylon to finally be chosen as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Xi'adu The definition of what it means to be a city is fluid, and by some accounts, a population center cannot rightly be called a city until it reaches 300,000 inhabitants. By that measure, Xi'adu is the first city amassing a population of 320,000 by 400 BCE. Xi'adu was made the capital of Yan during the Warring States period of Chinese history, and is sometimes referred to by the name Lower Capital of Yan for this reason. And the ruins together make up the largest excavation site of the Warring States period, with portions of the old walled city still visible to this day. 
The remains of the now defunct city are located in the Taihang Mountains between two rivers in the Hebei province, which is on China's central coast. Vijayanagara One of the biggest cities in terms of sheer population that no longer exists today is Vijayanagara, the capital of the Empire of Vijayanagar, founded in 1336 in south-central India. Also known as the Karnata Empire, or the Kingdom of Biznagar, Vijayanagar was prominent on the world stage for a number of reasons. Primarily for being one of the first to promote Hinduism as a unifying factor to combine the various sultanates that controlled the region up until that point. By 1565, its population had reached a whopping 500,000 people, second only to Beijing, but 1565 was a bad year for Vijayanagara, as that year the city was defeated and ransacked by five sultanates from the Deccan Plateau to the north. Technically, the city held on to existence until 1646, but it saw a precipitous decline in the immediate aftermath of the Battle of Talakata. Today, the ruins are in present-day Hampi in Karnataka, India. We've talked about some pretty big cities wiped from the map already, but one remains that tops them all. Any guesses? Adiathaya. Most of the cities that have held the top spot at some point between the end of the 4th century BCE and today continue to exist in some form or fashion. But one that's fallen off the map entirely is Franakon si Euteia, often dubbed the Venice of the East. By its peak in the 18th century, the metropolitan area had more than 1 million people fighting for the top spot with Beijing. The region where present-day Thailand exists was particularly kind to traders and visitors, and thanks to its policy of being open to merchants and travelers and the city's fortunate positioning in the Gulf of Siam, Ayutthaya quickly became an economic hub. Though some dispute whether Ayutthaya constitutes one city rather than a conglomeration, there is no doubting that its sheer size put it on the world stage. That is until 1767, when Burma destroyed Siam and Ayutthaya was destroyed. Today, the ruins are in the Ayutthaya Historical Park. That concludes our list of the top 10 biggest cities that no longer exist. But we'd like to hear from you. What cities do you think we missed that could qualify for our list? Leave your entries in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please do us a favor and give it a like, a comment, a share, and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time on The Biggest.